Hello, I am working on a tutorial. Trabajando en una verdadera pareja. Sometimes it works better than others. Un momento es que funciona mejor que otros. But it is sometimes usable. A veces es a con tilde ordinal masculino til. And I had fun working on it. Me diverta guión mucho trabajando en ello. Now we will look at how it works. Ahora vamos a ver que elevado a tres mo funciona. Well, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be using Bash and tools like Socks and MPlayer and WGET uh, to interact with Google online and um, their language translator. So let's have a look at this script real quick. Now you may remember uh, months ago I did tutorials on translating your voice to text or text to voice using these functions and I just kind of put them all together to make this um, script that will translate your voice audibly even though I sound like a woman in translation although there might be a way to change that but let's have a look at our script right here I called it mytranslator.sh as you can see I actually made this a long time ago and never did a tutorial on it but then a viewer uh, earlier today let me see his name was Rocky Rambo 12345 was uh, asking about some of the videos I did on the Google Translator and I realized that I never uh, actually did a video tutorial on this. I think I posted this script a while ago. I have to check on that. But I don't think I ever did a video on it because I searched through my videos and did not see it. But real quick, we'll look through here. We just have a few commands here. And first we're saying a variable. This variable is the language variable that I'm going to be translating to. In this case, I'm translating to Spanish uh, and ES is for Spanish. I should be able to Google and find a whole list of uh, the um, language codes. I don't really know what they're called. But in this case, we're translating to Spanish. Next, we're using the rec command, record, which is part of the SOX package. That's S-O-X, so make sure you have that installed. And we're recording at a rate of 16,000 megahertz. And in this case, on my system, I'm using the ALS default input. So this one part here may change depending on how you have the audio set up on your machine. But ALSA is uh, also is very um, commonly used. I'm using the default input because I have a back mic input and a front mic input, and the default one is the back. And just writing default there lets the system know to use whatever one is the most commonly used, which is usually going to be your back one. We're going to record your audio to a FLAC file, temp forward slash record dot FLAC. And then the silence part, if you remember I've gone over this in tutorials in the past, is basically uh, waiting for you to start talking. So it's sitting there listening and it doesn't start recording until you start talking and then it waits for a certain length in silence before it continues. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to set X equal to the output of this WGET command. WGET get is going to work in quiet mode. It's going to use a different user agent. It's going to pretend it's Firefox. And we're going to post the file that we just recorded to Google's uh, website with this header. And this is the Google link right here. Um, and we're going to just pipe the output of that instead of into a file, uh, which is the output's going to be basically what this command here is doing is getting what we said in our language. So in this case, I'm speaking English. So I'm uploading an English audio file and I'm getting back an English text line. So this is just taking what I said and translating it to text in the language that I am speaking. Then we're going to clear the screen, echo out X, which is what we said in our language. Then we are going to take use wget again. And we are going to take X, which is the aud or the text file of what we just said. So first we're taking audio, converting it to text, and we're taking that text and converting it to text of another language, in this case, Spanish. 
So we got our variable for L and G right here. We're going to do some trimming to get just the the um, the the string of what we said and ignore everything else that Google outputs right here. So so far we've taken our audio, translated it to text, taken that text, translated it to another language, then we echo out that new language, and then we're going to use M Player directly to and pretend that it's Mozilla Firefox. And we are going to upload that text back up to Google and have Google translate it back to audio in the new language. So that's it. Mainly it's a record command, convert that audio to text, convert that text to another language, and then play that text as audio. Uh, this script will be in the link in the description. Uh, so you can download this script and play with it. But let's uh, go ahead and check it out again. Once you do that, you can make it executable, run the script, <clears throat> and what should I say? I type on my keyboard. Now be sure that you speak clearly. Escribo en mi teclado. I type on my keyboard. And I have it put the text out on the screen so you can know that it's translating properly. Because if you just heard the audio and you don't speak that language, you don't know if it understood what you said properly, which in many cases, especially, you know, if you work with Google audio, any, any audio stuff, really uh, translations are not perfect. The clearer you speak, the better it translates. Um, so let's uh, do another one. I like using my computer. Me gusta usar mi computadora. Let's see if it understands the word Linux. I use Linux as my operating system. Let's try that one again. I use Linux on my computer. Puedo usar Windex en mi computadora. Yeah, Windex. Uh, I actually practiced before I started recording this video, and I got Windex once or twice. So they obviously uh, don't understand. They don't have Linux in their database, I guess. Or um, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Let's try again. I use Linux. Puedo usar letras. So as you can see, you know, some things you might have trouble translating. But if you need to say, where is the bathroom? Ah, con acento circunflejo, diacontil de elevado a tres de esta, el va signo de más menos o. Okay, it sounded like she said more than donde es la bian, uh, baño. Uh, so, <laughs> if someone speaks Spanish, let me know if she said something other than that. Let me try it again. Where is the bathroom? Ah, con acento circunflejo, diacontil de elevado a tres de esta, el va signo de más menos o. Uh, you know what? I think it's actually answering the question in that case. Hopefully it isn't doing that with all my translations. I'm just assuming that it's saying the right thing. <laughs> um, where is my computer? Ah, con acento circunflejo. Da elevado a tres de esta, mi equipo. Okay. The sky is blue. Cielo es azul. See, there I know it's translating wrong. I didn't, never realized that. I never asked it where the bathroom was before. And it's obviously saying more than it's translating. So if anyone knows what they're saying there, let me know. Uh, but go ahead and check out the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I didn't type out the entire script for you right here because, one, it's stuff we've gone over in the past, and it's just kind of a long, a lot of typing for I can just show you the script um, so if you have any questions let me know and uh, thank you uh, Rocky Rambo one two three four five for reminding me that I had to do a video on this kind of because that's not what he was asking but his question did remind me um, to do a video on this so thanks for watching I hope this might help some of you uh, if you're traveling um, 
and because uh, I know I can run this script on my N900 and translate stuff right to people. So thank you again for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the links in the description and have a great day.